Hi Aquarians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your what are we doing? <laughs> April uh, bi-weekly, 16 to the 30th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's going on. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee for you guys. Mm. If you're on the way to work, good morning. I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Mm. Wonderful energy regardless. If you don't have a work, I hope you find work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I'm sending you a good vibration there. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on for my Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Oh, let me pause. I was announcing to everybody, I will be doing personal readings again. I haven't done it like in the past three months. But the way that it works, I'm gonna announce, I'm gonna put a video. If I have an energy to spare, one energy the same day, I'll read. I mean, it's always happens, it's gonna be the same day. You're not gonna be booking in the future anymore because I'm two to three months booked before. Not gonna happen anymore. That's too much. So if you are, you know, if you're there in the right moment, you saw, you know, there's availability for one spot for that day, there you go. Or oh, two spots for that day, there you go. You get read the same day. Okay? But cause meaning, I won't be putting it up if I don't have the time. There you go. Okay? So just welcome what is uh, what is in the present. That's what I'm doing right now. I welcome what is in the present, and that's it. I welcome what is in the present. Not about there. Here. <laughs> okay, Aquarians. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, so do watch out if I post something. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, here we go. If I see it, I have to say it. It's not a twins because it didn't fall. Got here the chariot moving towards success. This always follows the star card for me. So someone is following their destiny. It's child. <laughs> Got here the stars, the universe. You, when you acknowledge, Aquarian, the universe is energy. That's when you get the go signal to move forward with your life. This is the universe gonna, when I say universe, it's God, okay? So this is God telling you, move forth and be merry. Go to your destination, go travel, go move on with your life, go, you gotta go, okay? This is the, you know, when you're in a stoplight, you know, so this is the chariot, uh, you're here, and then you see the, red, the green light, you gotta go. The universe already gives you the go signal over here. Going towards success, anything moving forward, okay, but actually, well, it's a different story. I'm not going to sh share with you guys about moving forward. Anything that moves, of course, there is growth, okay? So this is you pushing forward with what your calling also is about. It can be concern and energy. This is travel. This is automobile. This is about family also. Moving on with the family. Moving with family. A queen of cups. Uh, very watery energy that you are connecting with. The go signal here was for you to open up, to trust your intuition, to release that love. Because <laughs> this is what you're going to do. You're going to be sh um, you're gonna be sharing your feelings. You're going to be sharing your cups to someone. This is Normally, the chart is a single person okay, who has the nice convertible. Well, what do you know? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Not yet. I'm kidding. <laughs> so someone who has a, a nice convertible, a nice car, basically, you know, a nice life, moving on with their life. Now here they are being more open to some to a connection. You could be opening up to a water sign, sharing this energy, this golden cup of love. But this can be the up person, the water sign coming towards you. This is travel. Remember, someone's gonna come and visit you. Open up. You know, give their cup. And this is nurturing. This is love, love. Okay? This is the mom energy, the Queen of Cups. Nurturing, caring. Unconditional. Eight of Swords. You feel, but you have this though, as a struggle. Your central issue here. You could be, you could, you're you not seeing the offer. This You won't see this person coming your way. Hearing a sound. This, is, this can be you. For some, this is a person that you haven't spoken with. They come out of whatever that they needed to travel to, to learn to trust their intuition. And you're the Eight of Swords. You felt like there is, you know, look at this, it's almost like the one. Okay. Mm, see? You're wrapped into a situation. 
not knowing what's gonna happen, you're gonna go to the Nine of Swords, so be careful, because the Nine of Swords is tricky. Eight of Swords is a little bit less tricky because it hasn't gone to your head. You just don't know how to proceed. Sorry, it's the coffee, guys. <laughs> so you don't know how to proceed. It's almost like a surprise. This is you also trying to understand the situation by not being emotional. A three of wands, so there is someone who's here. You're expecting someone, but you don't know when they're coming. You don't know if they're ever going to um, um, share their cup towards you. Three of Wands is like, you're, you're in, not in stagnation, but you're not moving. You're just expecting. You're just going to stay put. I'm going to stay put right here. Let this person come to me. But you're fearful though. You have a lot of what ifs. The Eight of Swords is a lot of what ifs. Then you have here. Oh, bam chica wow wow. Three of ones. Your expectation is a four of ones. It's coming your way. Three to the four. You don't see this. You won't see this. Because it's probably in front of you already. The relationship is in front of you. This person comes to you in a surprise. The chart is faster than faster than any of the horse. This is the only card that has two horses. So imagine how fast the all the knights has horses, right? So they move fast. Sorry, let me just. They move fast. Mm hmm. Someone here is moving fast into commitment. Whatever you're expecting, they reciprocate with the Queen of Cups. But the Eight of Swords is essential, so either you won't see this, you're fearful of it, you don't know if it's ever going to happen, but from what I'm sensing here, it's a Four of Wands. It happens. First card strongest, last card strongest. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, Aquarians, as it moves forwards together with what they want from you um, and the four points. Have a wonderful um, last two weeks of April. I'll see you guys again. Bye.